Thank you. Well, thanks everybody for joining us for um, our May in Motion 101. So hello and welcome to May in Motion 101. We're excited to walk you through the history of May in Motion and share with you some changes that we've made to make May in Motion a COVID friendly event this year. You'll be hearing from me, Kathleen Godfrey and Christina Torkelson. We are commuter rides outreach specialists who work with employers and commuters year round. But truth be told, May in Motion is our favorite time of the year. First, I'd like to share a short video commuter ride put together a few years ago that demonstrates the impact of using smart transportation options. Let's take a look. Isn't that a fun video? It makes you want to dance in your seat. Uh, we did that demonstration downtown in front of the Capitol, and it really drives home just how much congestion is created when commuters drive alone to work rather than sharing a ride. Um, that's what commuter ride man motion is all about, is getting people to rethink their commute. Before we begin, we want to thank the amazing sponsors of Man Motion. They are our partners, supporters, and make this campaign possible. This year, Valley Regional Transit is our title sponsor and they are providing no cost transit for the entire month of May in support of May in Motion. These sponsors believe that our mission is to reduce vehicle miles traveled on the roadways, reduce air pollution and traffic congestion while producing happier, healthier, wealthier commuters. May in Motion is our annual awards campaign where organizations come together to promote the use of smart commuting options, such as van pool, car pool, transit, biking, walking, and working from home. Participating organizations educate their employees on smart commute options through fun competitions, challenges, and educational events with the assistance of the commuter ride team. May in Motion is in its 16th year, hard to believe. Uh, we skipped 2020. You may have heard that there was something going on that canceled all the events, um, but we're back and excited to bring you May in Motion like none before. What started out as a small commuter program has turned into over 100 organizations and over a thousand employees participating. We could not do this without our dedicated commute coordinators, advocates from each participating organization that help execute our mission by planning events and sharing information with the rest of their team. At the end of May in Motion, participating organizations are recognized as sustainable leaders and presented an award based on their employees' participation, incentives, and benefits offered, and how they promoted sustainable smart transportation. May in Motion has changed over the years, but the purpose remains the same. Smart commute options provide financial health and environmental benefits to the Treasure Valley organizations, employees, and residents. When commuters choose to try a smart commute even just once per week during May in Motion, the numbers add up quickly. 26 people in their own cars can be reduced to 13 carpools, two van pools, or one bus on the road. Better yet, they could become zero emission commuters if car trips became walk or bike trips. Think of all that CO2 that would not be pushed into the air. Think of all the miles not driven, preserving and preventing more roadway expansion. Think of all the calories burned. If you gave up that car to bike or walk, you'd feel like a million bucks and you'd even save a few. 
During man motion, businesses and their employees really get into the spirit of trying a smart commute. We've seen businesses launch all kinds of fun events during May and realize what their employees need to keep up the smart commute habits for the rest of the year. We encourage employers to embrace man motion in three ways. First, by making participation fun, start a team challenge or a friendly competition. We have some great ideas and even provide the prizes. We've seen some really creative events and ideas like a paper boy bike challenge or a cardboard boxcar race and so much more. Next, by thinking about the benefits or incentives they could offer employees to make smart community more feasible and attractive, like paying for all or a portion of their bus or van pole fare, providing a safe space to lock up their bike or having a shared bike or car employees can use for midday trips to lunch, appointments, or even offsite meetings. Next, by thinking about benefits and incentives they could offer employees. Excuse me, we've got to move on to one next slide here. And last, by promoting smart commute options, whether that's sharing emails, flyers and webinars we provide or adding information to their employee onboarding or hanging up posters. For us, it's always an exciting win. When an employer installs bike storage, provides a new commute subsidy or allows their employees flexibility in their schedules as a result of man motion. Time for a poll. Currently, how are you getting to and from work? Are you driving alone, sharing a ride, biking, walking, or maybe you're still working from home? Let us know. Well, those were the numbers we were expecting as most people are still working from home or driving alone to work. Here's what May in motion trips look like in a typical year. Do these numbers from 2019 surprise you at all? Biking to work has always won the top spot when it comes to smart commuting, but we have a sneaky suspicion that working from home may give those cyclists a run for their money. We have all learned that wearing sweats is a new fashion statement, and who knew you were gonna be teacher of the year? There have definitely been some silver linings to the dark pandemic clouds, but most notably, how employers had to pivot their structure to allow working from home, and many of them locally and around the world realize it's a viable and smart mode of commuting. Heck, you only have to fill your tank two times. We may have a shot at making a significant dent in CO2 emissions if we can keep this up. As if that slide didn't bring joy, joy, joy to you, look at these stats. In 2019, 100 organizations participated in May in Motion, removing over 70,000 trips from the roads. If you really think about these numbers, it's astonishing that about 1,500 people removed over 1 million miles from the road in one month right here in the Treasure Valley. That is an amazing victory. And we hope to sustain beyond this month of May. Keep going, ride those bikes, share those rides throughout the year. Just as we were getting ready to launch May in Motion last year, everything stopped. Over the past year, we've all been able to slow down, learn from this experience, and come out better stewards of ourselves and our environment. Do we anticipate all 100 employers to join us for May in Motion 2021? No, and that's completely okay. Do we expect to see record-breaking smart commute trips this year? Maybe not, but that's okay. But do we think we can still make May in Motion a fun, successful commute challenge? Absolutely. We won't be knocking people over in three-legged races. We won't be doing a stuff the car challenge. 
but we do want to have some fun and we have fun in store for you. We're excited to launch a new COVID conscious spin on May in Motion. As the business community slowly brings employees back to the office or implements a continued work from home policy, we're cognizant that the new normal, although no longer new, is still pretty abnormal. So to host a safe May in Motion, we've made some key changes, including adding working from home as an eligible smart commute mode for May in Motion. We also adjusted all of our outreach to participating organizations to a virtually or socially distanced format. We've joined several organization staff meetings via Zoom, developed this series of webinars in lieu of doing in-person presentations, and made main motion activities and games like a crossword puzzle and a scavenger hunt that can be done solo or in socially distanced teams. You may have seen that we hosted the main motion kickoff in an outdoor socially distanced fashion this year. It worked well and we're excited to bring you both a virtual award ceremony and an in-person opportunity to celebrate May in Motion this June. As I mentioned before, we created some fun new games and activities. The new crossword puzzle is a tough one, so start studying up now. We also brought back Bingo and of course the Pac-Man commute tracker poster. The poster is a great option for visually tracking your own commutes as well as your whole teams. We had some fun in our office creating game pieces for each of us that we moved along the board as we completed each commute throughout the month. It's fun and there's just nothing like competition to get everyone motivated. Um, all of these games are available to download on mainmotion.com now so you can start playing. The Main Motion Downtown Scavenger Hunt is one that we're really excited about. It's a safe, socially distanced way to learn about mobility options, explore downtown Boise, and have a great time. Contactless QR code clues will be hidden around outside. Along the way, you'll complete fun photo challenges, test your knowledge of local trivia, and solve riddles that will bring you closer to that final stop. So grab your phones and start walking, biking, or scootering from clue to clue. We'll have weekly and grand prize winners that receive awesome prizes for participating. The hunt begins this Saturday, May 8th, with the first clue that we'll release on our social media account. So start following us to see that clue. Most years we celebrate Bike to Work Day, but this year we're focusing less on biking to work and more on biking for health and well being. On Friday, May 21st, we hope to see lots of bikes out and about for Bike There Day. Commuter Ride will be sponsoring a Bike There station from 7 to 9 a.m. at Heron Park on the Greenbelt in Garden City. We will have refreshments and Dirt Dart mobile bike service on hand providing free bike safety checks. The bike checks are first come first serve, so plan your commutes wisely that day. Whether you plan to bike to work, to an errand, or just around your neighborhood and back home, it all counts. Um, please share your photos of your solo or family bike rides on social media using the hashtag Boise Bike Week and experience the joy of biking together even as we keep our distance. Remember to log all of your bike trips in May on Share the Ride Idaho, but especially those made on Bike There Day so that you can earn an extra special achievement badge. And last but not least, we're hosting virtual webinars just like this one every Wednesday this month in lieu of going to the organizations and presenting in person. Uh, it's not quite the same, but everyone knows we're all zoomed out and it does open up the doors to anyone and everyone who wants to learn about commute options. Next Wednesday, May 12th, we'll welcome CityGo and Villa Valley Regional Transit to the Zoom stage to discuss downtown transportation options and how to put them to work for you. If you are looking for less traffic, less stress, less wear and tear on your vehicle, and less gridlock, CityGo's discounted mobility options are the only way to go. In addition, Valley Regional Transit will discuss their free bus rides for everyone in May, new on-demand transit service, the electric buses coming soon, and more. Wednesday, May 19th, join us as we debunk and provide solutions to the most common explanations we hear from commuters who are convinced that smart commute options just don't work from them. From juggling kids to working unpredictable hours, we've got tips to make it work. And Wednesday, May 26th, we're excited to welcome Lisa Brady, Safe Routes to School Program Manager and a local expert and advocate in encouraging students to walk and bike to school. She will explain how alternative transportation promotes a healthy lifestyle, reduces traffic congestion, 
improves air quality and enhances our quality of life. We often hear things like, I would love to bike commute, but I don't have time after dropping the kids off at school. Or if I carpool to work, then how could I pick them up at the end of the day? These are valid concerns that can be addressed by introducing families to safe routes to school and learning about the benefits of a bike train or a walking school bus in your neighborhood. After main motion wraps up, we will still celebrate everyone's success just as we have in the past, just in a new style. We invite you to save the date for our virtual award ceremony on June 17th. It is free to attend and anyone can join. We're excited to hear from keynote speaker David DeRosa on smart mobility trends and how organizations and cities can leverage them. David is Associate Vice President and Technology Lead of US West Transit and Rail at AECOM, an infrastructure consulting firm. After his presentation, we'll announce the Main Motion Award recipient levels and share stats about this year's Main Motion. But don't worry, the fun doesn't end there. The following week, commute coordinators from each participating organization are invited to meet us in Julia Davis Park on June 24th to pick up their award, grab a packaged lunch, take some celebratory photos and say hi. More details on these events will be coming soon, so stay tuned. And another poll. So we wanna know, what are you most looking forward to this May in Motion? Is it the scavenger hunt, bike their day, these webinars, the downloadable games, the awards, all of it? You can only pick one. Just a few more moments. And done. Did you see the results? No. <laughs> there we go. All right. Oh, bike there day. Okay. Hi, so the webinar, the scavenger hunt, that's pretty exciting. Awesome, thank you guys. Everybody's excited about all the things. So that's pretty cool for us to hear and see. All right, so what now? First, we wanna thank you for joining us today and we hope everything that we've shared was useful and exciting and that you're ready to get out there and do May in Motion proud. So some first steps might be talking to someone in your organization or your coworkers about how you're planning to participate in May in Motion or join if May in Motion is new to your workplace. Uh, you could start planning an event, download those games, or get a couple teams together and do the scavenger hunt. You could also head to Share the Ride Idaho or download the Commute Tracker app to create your profile and start finding and logging their smart commutes. Uh, you will earn points every day for gift cards and rack up stats for your organization to win an awesome award. We also hope that you'll share pictures or videos of your smart commutes on social media. We love to see everyone's uh, what everyone's up to and how they're enjoying May in Motion. So use the hashtag May in Motion and tag Commuter Ride in your post so we can follow along. And that is a wrap for us, but we're happy to answer any questions that are in the chat. Um, so type those in now and uh, while we pull those up, just know that Kathleen and I are happy to help you or your organization in any way that we can. Okay, so we do have a few questions. So the first one, um, we, my slides kind of got a little wonky. So Kathleen, can you, um, can you tell us when Bike to Work Day is? So Bike, bike to Work Day is going to be May 21st. And uh, like Christina said, our pop-up, they're going to be called pop-ups uh, along the green belt and different businesses and ours will be at Heron Park, which is over here by um, Ada County Highway District, lovely park. And from seven to nine, we will be there, welcome you with a little snack and some coffee. Awesome. And another question um, that popped up is, um, if you could answer, how encourage someone to start their smart commute now that they're returning back to the office? Um, that's a good question and, and a really relevant one that I think a lot of people are thinking about these days um, as they are heading back to work or are already back to work. We have kind of joked around commuter ride that it's like onboarding all over again because you've been 
gone so long that your habit's broken and we want to swoop in and reteach you how to smart commute. So um, there's a lot of work that's been done with transit agencies. So that would be Valley Regional Transit and um, you know, our van pools and everyone is very cognizant of making things safe. So if you are, are interested in the bus or a van pool, there are policies in place to make that feel safe. Um, you know, masks and sanitization and all that good stuff. Um, as far as, you know, not having so many people in the same vehicle, uh, biking and walking are obviously the safest and easiest ways to do that. So we would highly encourage that. And if you are going to carpool, you know, we just suggest knowing who you're carpooling with and make sure that it's someone you're familiar with, you guys are on the same page and all that. So there are definitely ways to smart commute, even in these funky times. <laughs> okay, one last question. Um, Kathleen, can you answer, and we um, briefly just talked about it, how do people track do people track their um, smart commute? How do they do that this year? So you want to go to Share the Ride Idaho. Uh, on Share the Ride Idaho, most of the businesses have their own private network. And so if you log in to Share the Ride Idaho with your work email address, that will automatically put you into your network's portal. And you can start tracking there and your wonderful commute coordinator will see all the activity and possibly award you a prize for tracking your smart commute. And it's also a place where you find your commute um, on, on the uh, tracking website on Share the Ride Idaho. So take a look at it, it's amazing. See how many calories you burn. Awesome. That is all the questions, um, but we did promise to do a little um, May in Motion prize pack, uh, which is one of our May in Motion incentives. And then we have a um, Bitter Creek um, $10 gift card that you can use for Bitter Creek, Diablo and Sons, or, um, or Red Feather. So I'm going to spin the wheel and let you know. Can I get a little love drum roll? <laughs> Catherine Robinson. So I have your I have your information. So we will shoot you an email, Catherine, and um, get a little prize to you. So Kathleen, will you wrap us up for today? Yeah. Thanks um, to all of you who joined us for our very first May in Motion webinar. Uh, commute coordinators, don't forget that this counts as an outreach and promotion event on your May in Motion application at the end of May in Motion. We will see you all for our virtual Zoom with David DeRosa. We will also see you Julia Davis Park when you pick up your award and say hi. We can't wait to see you. Um, also have fun with May in Motion. You know, think of some fun things to do with your group, uh, whether they're telecommuting, you know, and we're here to help you. So please reach out to us. We'll come up with some ideas together. It's a different year. We all know that. Um, but we can make it fun and we can get people back into the mode of commuting. A lot of people are coming back to work now. So uh, we're here to help you out. We are your outreach specialists and we're here to make it May Emotion a wonderful 2021. So thanks again and keep on tracking. <laughs>